This is one of the very few technology names that are above supply. That was the whole point. Remember, seven uh, out of the 100 companies are above supply, and this is definitely one of them. So if Apple... Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, quick update, then I gotta go to uh, a basketball game. Again, basketball games coming out of my ears. My daughter, my son, my poodle I think is on three teams. I don't know, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, so let's talk about the market really, really quick. Uh, you got the Dow uh, putting up a big number today. Um, you have the NASDAQ. Uh, putting up a big number, but the only problem is, again, we're still in this range, right? This is a, a nice range that continues to stay in that range and continues to go up and down, up and down, up and down. The only good thing that I definitely like what we saw today uh, versus how we saw the last several days of being in this range is, number one, they continued to fight. Every single time there was a headline, whether it was Biden, whatever the case may be, they continued to fight and, and ultimately reclaim the five-day moving average. Again, we're not out of the woods. By no stretch of the imagination, the big number here is still, right? There's still this 200-day moving average above 366, but this is at least the first time uh, in the last four sessions, you can see here, you know, rejected off the five, uh, defended the 10. This is the first time in the last four sessions that this is the highest close in this whole formation. You see this, guys? This is the highest close. 359, reclaimed the five-day moving average the first time in the last three days versus the last three days basically getting uh, basically getting uh, rejected, right? Getting rejected and moving uh, towards the bottom of the race. That's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. The, the, broad, uh, the broad news is still we have to re reclaim 366, but again, nothing gets reclaimed at higher levels before we could uh, reclaim lower levels. And that's kind of where it is. And the majority of the day, uh, you saw, you know, really muted action, like nothing really, you know, went on. Uh, TMUS, we talked about uh, last night on the video, uh, finally confirmed earnings highs, had a nice move higher. You know, there was a nice pivot at, you know, at the open on Tesla. Not a big move at all. You know, not a big move at all. And again, we weren't looking for anything big. But, you know, here's the pivot right here. It took out the low of the range, went back down to the bottom. You know, a little bit of flow here and there. Nothing crazy. Uh, Facebook tried uh, to go green again today, only to get stuffed again. Uh, after hours, you got uh, Chipotle with a pretty, you know, pretty good you know, with a pretty good earnings, uh, they're up about seven, eight percent after the close. Lyft, on the other hand, had a really nice chart going into earnings, uh, guided lower, right? Guided lower uh, on their conference call, but again, not that bad of a of an earnings call. Uh, excuse me, not that bad of a move reaction to uh, lower guidance, but nevertheless, it's still down. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see tomorrow uh, if the bulls can build on today's moves. And the one thing uh, we kept on reiterating uh, in the webinar, and I kind of, I'm kind of reiterating now, this is not a market that you buy and hold right now, right? And, and again, I don't want to have the whole conversation. Well, if you buy right now, it'll be okay in five years. Yeah, maybe you will, maybe you won't. So conversation for another time. Uh, you know, again, everybody understands the ramifications why the 200 day moving average uh, is very, very important. You could take my word for it or not, but the point is if your stock will never go higher, if it can't reclaim the 200 day moving average, and if you look at history past, not every stock ever does. So it's very, very important to understand that fact. But again, everybody's an adult, your dime, your dance floor. You could feel free to buy stocks wherever you want. I'm just giving you my humble uh, opinion. But at least for tomorrow, when you look at the leaders, right? When you look at the technology leaders to see where exactly they close, they can give us a move, right? Not, you know, maybe not a, you know, 20, 30, 50, 80 point move, like, like we see really, you know, very, very aggressive bull markets. But if you look at charts, how they set up this more uh, towards the end of the day, you can see kind of where I'm at least optimistic if the market confirms tomorrow, we can have moves and check this out. So you got in the video, right? You got in the video here. Uh, this is the highest close in this whole formation at the last three, four days, right? And the video could confirm. Again, we saw 257.50 uh, calls for the last couple of days uh, coming in. If it could confirm, hey, this is 
well, this is where they're getting the two, uh, 257 50 level. It's a it's an area uh, back into supply. So we got to keep an eye on NVIDIA. A name like AMD is you know looking really, really good. It's a stone throws away from its earnings highs. If it could confirm its earnings highs, maybe this thing goes, right? Look at Apple. You're starting to see a little bit of blue skies. Uh, it's a lot better looking than a lot of the technology names uh, because again, this is one of the very few technology names that are above supply. That was the whole point. Remember, seven uh, out of the hundred companies are above supply, and this is definitely one of them. So, if Apple could confirm this whole channel here, hey, maybe it starts moving higher. We saw a bunch of 75, 80 weeklies coming in. Maybe if the market has a day to run, the money flow could extend uh, into Apple. Uh, Amazon, even though it had this impressive, you know, 500 point reversal uh, a couple of days ago into earnings, keep this in mind. They got rejected off the 50 day moving average. But if they reclaim the 50 day moving average tomorrow, again, do I think it's going to be another 200 point run? No, but I think there's a good chance that we could get a pretty decent vibe, right? A pretty decent wave uh, for the next supply zone, maybe going uh, all the way up to the earnings highs of 3,300, right? Very, very possible as well. So there's a lot of names like that, even Qualcomm, uh, even Qualcomm to kind of stick to. Uh, the semiconductor theme is, you know, maybe one day away from getting above this whole channel here to kind of reclaim supply. That would be good as well. The, the one thing that we don't want to do, okay, is get lazy and get complacent and start making predictions. This one's going to go there. That one's going to go here. Again, it's the easiest way uh, to, to kind of get yourself to find yourself not trading, okay? Predictions. And this is what's going to happen five years from now. We don't know what's going to happen 30 seconds from now, let, it, let alone five years from now. So the idea that you're making these these you can make this this arrogant and well you know tesla's going to be at five thousand next week okay maybe it will maybe it won't but again we don't know right it's, it's all it's all speculation it's all hearsay again we don't trade on speculation we don't trade on guessing we trade on facts and speaking of tesla although it's not out of the water right not even close uh to green you know green pastures at least we could see a channel brewing, right? Look at the 60 minute view here. At least we could see a channel brewing here and maybe it doesn't go back to uh, a thousand. But the point is there is a channel here and if it could confirm and take out this whole channel here, maybe this thing wakes up as well. The one thing that we did not see today, as good as uh, the market closed in, this is the highest close in the queues, like I said, in the, first, in the last three, four days. The one thing that I really did not see today is big option, um, big option flow, right? big aggressive call buying as impressive as it was especially after biden's speech that the bulls kind of reclaimed back the five-day moving average it was very suspicious that we did not see uh, a lot of call buying a lot of near-term expiration a lot of out of the money expiration so it does really feel like i, I think the majority of traders and again i, I speak to a lot of traders every single day. I mean, I grew up in this business with a lot of really good guys and everybody's still waiting for that big green light to kind of get out of this whole channel here back to the upside or get out of it below. So th this area here of 362 continues to be kind of the green light for the bulls. Although, uh, you know, although we'll see, it's been three times tested that area that it's been rejected. Maybe tomorrow's finally the day they, they go through. We don't know, right? We don't know, but we, want, we, we, you know, we can't speculate, but at least we have a course of action that we know how important that 362 level. We also know how important this 352 level is that the bulls uh, you know, defended now three, four days in a row. And now it's time to see what individual stocks can actually wake up, right? Confirm their channels. Remember, we're not looking for massive, massive moves, um, you know, because again, we don't have enough daylight. We don't have enough, um, we don't have enough uh, clear, clear views without supply. Most stocks are still sitting way below their supply, but you can definitely get trades, right? You could definitely, there's a 20 point channel uh, in, um, in Tesla. There's a six point channel in NVIDIA. There's a five point channel in Qualcomm. Obviously AMD has a big channel as well if it expands. So there's definitely room to get the job done, but the most important part is they have to confirm. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.